What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode. It's been a long time. I do apologize. I keep saying it. But we are back, baby. We have early access. Release for Undisputed. The newest boxing game that has come out in the past decade. Yes, 10 years. And it is finally here. Now, obviously, it is not the full game yet. If you look, we only have access to certain things. We could fight multiplayer and we can do uh, basically uh, against the AI. And that's about it. There is going to be a career mode later down the line. It is not currently out yet. I'm thinking later this year, towards the end of this year, maybe. But they have not given any time speculation, any dates on that as of right now. We have our online mode. It looks like there is some ranked in here. We can create a lobby. There's going to be leaderboards. So we have enough to keep us busy right now. And I'm very excited. I've been following this game for about a year now. It's finally here. We're going to dive right in and see what we can get into inside the ring. Let's go, baby. All right. Looks like we're meeting our coach. Hey, I'm Dave Caldwell, your coach for the upcoming fight. I'm going to have to run through some drills to prepare you for it. Would you like to skip this tutorial? Hell no. Okay, great. Let's get started with training. If you want to leave at any point, hit the start key to open the menu next. I got that. Normal movement is important to have you move around the ring. Use the left stick to move. Okay. Ooh, I'm already liking it. Okay. Basic movement. Uh, feels good. That's good. Loosen up a bit. Travel around. Loose movement. Activate it with the up arrow. Remember, while in loose movement, you'll have more success in knocking opponents down, but you can also be knocked down easier. Think of it as a double edged sword. Ooh, okay. So we want to hit loose movement up. That's kind of like our guard down, not really blocking. Oh shit, that's dope. Seems a little bit faster, maybe a faster way to get inside and then get out of loose movement once you're in the inside. Oh wow, that feels good, oh my gosh. Nice, if you feel comfortable changing stances, you can do it with right key try it out switch back and forth for me. Okay. we can go southpaw or just regular good old-fashioned orthodox baby all right let's get you working your jab with x or right stick so you can use multiple different ways to punch uh, so if you want to use the stick kind of like a right stick up fashion Or you can hit X. Bam. I'm not sure which way I'll prefer. Follow up with some straights. So we can either go like that or hit Y. Let some hooks go with A or B or the right stick left or right. Cool. That's going to be important uh, for your inside, your inside game. Wow. First impressions, man. I know it's just a little uh, training session, but damn, it feels good. All right, so uppercuts, you want to hold the A and X, B and Y at the same time. Or you can go right stick to the... Diagonal position. All right, let's try that. Bam. Bam. So what I don't like about the right stick is it, you can get so close to doing something you don't want to do. Okay. 
Aim at the body to lower your opponent's stamina, throw any punch while holding LB. This is something I'm going to incorporate in my gameplay. Uh, I do want to be a body, body banger, you know, and not just be looking for the chin at all times. Um, so this is definitely something I'm going to have to get used to. I love I love how when you're going to the body it doesn't feel super slow like that's an issue I had with UFC 4 which is uh, uh, I didn't like going to the body it just felt really slow I felt like I was getting it countered so easily this I don't really feel that uh, even though he's not punching back it feels damn good all right power punches want to really hurt them and knock them out while throwing a punch hold RB to make it a power punch careful this will drain your stamina a lot more can't throw these out when you're tired. Keyword. All right, so obviously that white bar at the bottom is our stamina. We also are showing our heart rate down there. Um, so obviously if your white bar is all the way at the end, you're tired, you do not want to be throwing these punches because it will slow you down and then you'll get countered and probably knocked out because you have no air in your lungs. Let's try it. Uh, RB. Oh, there's a power straight. Power jab, power jab, regular straight, power straight. Yeah. Pretty simple. Alright, directional punches. Now there will be times you will need to space your opponent and attack. You can achieve this using directional punches, and any punch will attack with the directional punch. Time to practice these. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be using our movement while throwing punches. So. Oh, okay, so. Basically, while you're moving and punching, it's gonna kind of flick your, your character around to kind of find openings. So, if you got someone just blocking right in front of you, swing to the right while hitting a jab at the same time, you're probably gonna move just like that to the side. Which could be uh, interesting. It hasn't really told me how to block it. Oops. Looks like it's the right trigger. Come on, let's go, dude. Oh, if this were a real fight, you'd be fucked up right now. Come on, hit me. Come on, I'm right here in front of you. Let's go. There you go, buddy. All right, body blocks. Time to be able to block body punches. You want to hold LB while blocking with the right trigger. This will leave your head open. Oh, okay. Ah. So some similarities to UFC 4. I feel like that, that's the same mechanics. Come on, dude. Come on, you got this. Is he gonna punch me or what? There you go. Hit me! Oh, I think that broke my block. Alright, weaving. Weaving allows you to evade punches and attack back with counter punches. This is going to be key. Hold left trigger and use the left stick to control your weave. Practice weaving out of the way some punches. So, left trigger, left stick. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, that didn't work. We can duck down, we can get on the outside, which that did nothing, and we can go obviously left or right, weaving out of, oh, okay. Oh, there we go.
Definitely want to be careful going for that downwards. If you get uppercutted, you're done. Oh, we're too quick. We're too quick. Come on. Just got to do it two more times. Can't hit us. Can't hit us. Bam, bam, oh, you get rocked if this is a real fight. Come on, bro. There we go. All right, so yeah, basically a lot of similar mechanics to the UFC game that I played a lot. So I feel like we're going to be able to get in there, do some damage fairly quickly. But I have heard it is a pretty hard game, especially with people that have been playing it for a couple months now throughout the betas. Uh, slip. Slipping is a fast movement that will open up your opponent for a counter hit. Slap with left stick plus left stick in that direction. You slip to cause your opponent to miss and counter hit them. Let's have you practice this now. Okay. Whoa. Bam! There it is. Bam! Okay. So it's like a slip and a weave into one. Sometimes you want to create space between you and your opponent. Step in faster towards your opponent. Give the left stick a flick in the direction you want to dodge. Run a few dodges. Damn, there's a, okay, there's a little bit more to the movement now. So we want to flick these. Okay, so that, that's basically like bigger movements. Like if I want to stay in the out, inside and weave a little bit, I have to hold the trigger down. But if you don't hold the trigger down, it kind of just gets you out of the way real quick. Let's say I want to get in the way, right? Bam. Right there. Clinching is good for moments of panic and allowing you to rein your breath. You can attempt to clinch with the right stick. So pushing down the right, right stick will clinch. Be careful not to use it too recklessly as it leaves you open. Now, clinching is obviously a big part of boxing. Uh, I feel like if we're getting damage banged up, and we, we have to clinch. So hopefully we can get we can master that at the right times. Oh. Clinched. There it is. All right, to break the clinch, hit the right stick. Be aware it costs stamina to break out if you've been clinched. All right, adrenaline. Let's learn about adrenaline. Daze your sparring partner with any punch to activate adrenaline. You will automatically activate adrenaline when knocking an opponent into dazed. All right, so we got to piece him up, it looks like. Oh, there it is. So he's dazed. We activated adrenaline bar on our stamina. Our heart rate looked like it was going up, too. So I guess the higher your heart rate is, the better you you box, which makes sense because uh, adrenaline is your best friend in a fight, for sure. When in adrenaline, you have unlimited stamina to use to knock out your opponent down, but be aware you can tire yourself out faster once adrenaline wears off so you definitely don't i mean if you're going all in you better hope you get the job done or you're gonna be tired afterwards so he's blocking we didn't do anything there but all right so now i'm dazed take a power punch to the head to enter dazed so let's get dazed all right let's go damn i'm dazed so that's like flight mode right there Avoid getting hit during this, or you'll be knocked down. Definitely don't want that to happen. Get out of here, dude. 
All right, easy enough. All right, the get up mini game. I've heard a lot about this. I hear it is uh, pretty hard to master. Uh, basically, if you get knocked down on your third time, it, only the best are getting up after that. So I'm very worried about this. But let's get knocked down. There it is. Okay, so we're going to use the left and right trigger. Keep the markers in the red zones in order to give up. Having both sides within the area will fill up your bar faster. And you only have 10 seconds, obviously. So. One, two, three, four, oh five, my god. Six. Okay, yeah, that's a little weird. But we were able to get it done. It's like one of those mini games, like the first time it happens, no problem. Second time, you're struggling. Third time, you're screwed. All right, are you ready to fight with Charlie Edwards? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, I kind of want to skip the intros there. Um, we'll save that for an actual fight that we choose. This is just kind of... You know, get the tutorial out of the way. Oh, we are Sunny. I thought I thought somebody was gonna be Charlie. So they are brothers. Um, wow. Okay, this is a little more competitive than the training. Okay, we can't be doing that. Definitely can't be doing that. So obviously my my plan is one of the hottest tickets around. I want to get him out early, but only for this our main event. This is my now brother we're talking about. We don't want to give him brain damage. The fighters and they bask in this. They love this. They are born for this. You have other fighters. Yeah, oh, we got the like loose the loose movement. Let's see what we can do. Perfect punch. Oh, he hurt us. Oh, we got him. We got him now. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Oh, he's getting us. He's getting us. He scores with that right uppercut. Oh, we're not watching our stamina. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Uh, nice exchange here from both jacked. men. Themselves. It's only a three round fight, so I feel like our stamina shouldn't matter that much. Like, we can go all out and not have to worry. It's bombs away! You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. You're coming in, bro. You're going to get knocked out. All right, first round this completed. Uh, I have no idea how it went. Looks to like Charlie got most of the damage, so I feel pretty good. Like I said, I'm not worried about standing up too much. Three rounds shouldn't be a big deal. I like, I love that loose movement, man. I feel like I could do some serious damage. Look at that. I'm feeling good. I just won the round. Muff. He just misses with that big right hand.
Let's hit him with something good here. Let's. Oh! Exceptional chins, by the way. Got him with the right hook. Oh, left hook. Oh! This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using oh. that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long loop. Not many fights can do that. That's another scoring shot. Oh, he got us. Oh, he got us. Oh, you think you're going to stand there? Jab to the body, stand there trying take to wear him down. Oh, we missed. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice punch. These two were made for each other. Caution being thrown to the wind. Yeah, there ain't no caution when his brother's fighting. Caution goes out the window. Nice punch. Oh. His face is red, man. I feel like we could get him. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass? Oh, there it is. There it is. Charlie Edwards is down, down. baby. He's gonna get up. He's gonna up. He wants more. Gonna be wishing he did in here in a sec. At some point, the corner may have to intervene. I got 20 here. seconds. Edwards might go down here. Oh, he's dazed. We got our adrenaline, which means we have nothing to worry about. Gave him a few shots to the body. Worked the head, the chin. That's a wrap. Oh, maybe not. End of the round. Well, Johnny, what's your advice to this fighter now? He is down big time in the school. Oh, yeah, we are messing him up. So the red bar is his health, obviously, or damage. So, I mean, he hurt us pretty good, but I kind of just not really can. I'm just trying to get him out of there, really. Looking good, looking good. Let's get it started in round three. By the way, we open up with some bangers. Trying to work our combos. Got him with Ooh. a clean right uppercut. Oh, he caught him there. Oh, he's getting a body. Oh, he's getting a body. Can't let that happen. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. When you're a power puncher. You're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. This could be really intimidating, oh. Tony. You know somebody's got the punch power. Someone's got the speed. I feel like we're messing them up, man. A simple jab. It can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Sonny Edwards uh -oh. is certainly in some real uh -oh. trouble here. We're dazed. We're dazed. I thought we were going to see the finish there. Come on, we gotta knock him out. We gotta knock him out. Another scoring shot there. Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring. Hit him with a left jab. Oh, 
Fighter has tested about, their opponent's power and apparently is not about a minute to go. Continue to walk through all these power shots. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Oh, he's covering that big. Oh, that punch. Oh. to go where the other fighter won't. 20 seconds. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come this round still up for grabs yeah, in just I thought 10 we'd seconds to go. Out, but I guess not. I tried. I tried. No surprise there, a unanimous decision. But we got the dub. You know, that's skills, that's class, that's level. One is up there, one is down but there. But it should but be hard to knock someone out three rounds, you, you know? That, you don't see that, that, that too much, I especially with these little guys. Now, if it's Tyson Fury in there, maybe. Grisham, welcome now, I'm going to not talk for a little bit Brooklyn so you guys can see these introductions. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. To these two legends right here. Hi, to everybody back home. It's time for our tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali, six foot three inches tall, the best to ever do it. And across the ring from him, Rocky Marciano, the Brockton brawler. This heavyweight is anything but standing only five foot ten inches tall, 201 pounds. Todd, this is well anticipated. I'm so looking forward to this tear up. These two are really up for it. You know what? Nobody believes they're gonna lose. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. Watch the footwork, watch the hand speed. No one does it like Ali. Rocky Marciano, 201 pounds of pure terror. This man is an absolute machine. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. And here we go. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist and legend of boxing. The only three-time lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. The one and only, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Hiding out of the blue corner, here is a Hall of Fame legend from Brockton, Massachusetts, a Ring Magazine world champion and an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Introducing the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. This is what you'll be talking about right. for years to come. This is what your kids, your grandkids will be talking about. What a venue, what a fight, what action. Good luck. All right, introductions is over. Here we go. The Round gloves one. have he's been touched. To the first big shot. We're going to see what we can do. Oh, he's coming in hard already. They won't give us a second so you know we're going to be breath. in our loose movements. We're going to be playing the outside game. We're going to try and mimic the great Ali. See if we can at least. Play on the outside, counter him, and just float around and sting, baby. Let's go. Missed him with that uppercut. Oh, that stung. That's stung. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. <laughs> Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. Oh, he's getting us. Oh, and he caught him with an uppercut. Oh, 
Oh, those punches add up. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh, man, you've got a swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off. Make him Obviously, we've got to keep you've our movement going fight, fight with fire. to 12 on five. We don't want to gas each other out. Get him out. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Okay, I feel like those last shots could have maybe got us around. Right there. I don't know, I don't that was pretty which close. Fighter is winning this battle. So important. The referee's gonna do his fight right. He's gonna judge this right. He's gonna do his job. Still got right. our stamina. It looks like he took a little bit, just a little bit more damage than us. I mean, we're going against the rock, baby. He don't feel pain. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. Oh. Coming out strong. Oh. Dang. Which spider will say no moss? Oh, he's got a little bit better defense now. Oh, those punches add up. The positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look like knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. What a punch. All right, we're doing a little bit bad. We've got to come back. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. We are not doing, we are not sticking to our game plan. This fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. What are you going to do, Tony? It's anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw portion to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. Oh. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. This defense is crazy good right now. I can't even hit him. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I lost that one for sure. Not our best time. See if we can come back. aggressive fighter but that doesn't always mean success how many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked up like even that, though they were that the one jab pushing and the then left I've hook to the body fighters. i feel they like that could the life out of you I feel like that could open up something the, shot, the strength they have the speed they have and that knockout punch they want to punch through you they don't want to punch you they want to punch straight through you so you've got to be careful Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring come on He takes that jab. Jeez, what are we there. doing? Very good. 
Close round with 10 seconds to go. There we go. All right. This Not sure how that went. Two more. pages in a book, Johnny. So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty close, man. It could be anyone's fight right now. I have no idea. Each one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down. Oh, so the projected scorecard has me up by one point. But you can never trust those things from what I hear. They, uh, How much they're not always correct. You build when your opponents hit you with the best shot and you walk right through. The problem with having a chin that everybody so knows So far, I mean, it matched what I thought. I thought I won the first, You've definitely lost the second. That's what the projected scorecard showed. You can bang and too. I wasn't sure about the third, but it had me winning. I think he could have easily won it as well. So I'm going to play it like I lost so two right rounds. So that's, I need to do a little bit more. We're getting hit way too much. We need to play our game, to score with that left hook. not play his game. Once he comes in, we're attacking. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. We got to play with our reach. With we're the bigger cut. guy, we're the longer guy. He has to come into me. I feel like if we do that, we're gonna easily get the dub. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's gonna have more endurance? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the I game didn't even plan, check what difficulty this is on either. Again, I have no idea. The fight will be over. Whatever the default difficulty is. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. I have no idea. Damn, he's getting us with those body shots. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? We're getting him on damage. I mean, he's he's the more hurt guy. Doesn't mean I'm winning. Nobody's cut up. Nobody's smiling. Looks like the right side of my head is what's damaged more. I'm getting him on the left center and right part of his head. I need to start working the body more. That's what I need to do. Which fighter is going to get caught first? There we go. What a punch. Neither man really defending themselves. Oh. would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you this could be really intimidating todd if you know somebody's got the punch power someone's got the speed someone can take you out with a simple jab it can be intimidating oh we got him there you are as a fighter. and then he responds oh he's responding can they figure out the combination to this safe oh that punch Oh, what are we doing? Nice exchange here from both men. Oh, we got him there. Oh. And you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This is tough, man. This is tough. 
I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Okay, he's still the more hurt guy. Dude is going to be the first one to get rocked. Punch. Ooh. Strong straight right to his face. And again. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. You've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Power yeah, is power working on body. Or die. The power might be the, the equalizer. We just need to let our combinations fly, man. We're head hunting too much. Figure out the combination to this. Still shape. trying to remember the nice controls. Punch. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Oh, we got him with the right hook. Oh, I'm sorry, left hook. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight fire with fire. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play fire and play cool. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Oh, now it's just a dog fight. It's a dog fight. Nobody's backing down, but that's what The Rock does, man. He makes it this a brawl. Could not be any closer Muhammad's to trying, man. He's trying to play his game, but The Rock keeps getting in his face. We gotta break that. We gotta break his face. Who's gonna be the first one to get bumped? All right, so projections still have me up by a lot now. Hopefully that is true. It says he's only won one round. I highly doubt that, but let's see what we can do. I feel like we're getting more of the volume, but when he punches, man, it, it hurts. Right out of the way, that right hook. It hurts us. And there's an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? It's the one who draws first blood type. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. These two are the perfect dance partners. They are the perfect dance partners. Let's be real. Nice uppercut. The most difficult punch to land clean, and he just did it there. Oh my god. The hallway is jacked. They have no respect for each other's punching power. Ooh. He just misses with that jab. Got him with the left. I wish I knew how to taunt. You know, I didn't go over that. Place in this one. Oh, we heard him. Oh. This fight is closer than two pages and a book, Johnny. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Now he's doing great at keeping his stamina up. That worries me a little bit. First. 
How did that not land? This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. And he misses with that jab. It's like watching Rocky Balboa against Apollo Creed right now, man. That hook won't score. This guy just won't go down. I'm hitting him with everything I got. He just keeps coming forward. Look at this. I mean, we're banging him. Oh. Oh, could this be it? Oh, he looks effed up. Three, four, Don't get up, dude. I don't want to hurt you. He's up. How much time we got? At some point, we got the 35 may seconds. Have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. Got to watch her stamina. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, Final 10 seconds here, and we I got think he knows he's this round. What are we doing? Oh, no. We totally failed that. I got now way too into it. Right home about that round, huh, Johnny? Just a little fight finder. That's all it was. You know what? I say we just go all out on him. Try and end it. And we enter the night. I don't feel like going 12 rounds. This fight now, besides the tutorial, this is our first fight ever. First time playing the game. Pros, so I'm still learning. Still need lots of room for improvement. I think we're doing good against one of the best. But we are also playing the best. So. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. Yeah, it ain't going to the judges. Sorry, buddy. It's not happening. I don't let judges take care of my future. It's not me. Oh, that's done. Back and forth they go. Neither come on, fighter come on, come on. willing to back down. Oh. Nice punch. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get in here. The old adage is no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Play the inside a little bit, huh? Somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. Let's get him in that corner. He didn't take that jab well at all. It's knockout or bust for. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. We don't want this fight to be for nothing. We have to get them in. We have to. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. That was super he is hurt, though. He, I is, dread being he is feeling it right now. He wants out of this fight. I know he does. I see it in his eyes. Let's give him what he wants. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? There it is. I mean, scores card, the scorecards still say I've only lost the second round. He scores with that right uppercut. I don't believe it, but I do believe we're getting the best out of him. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? 
And Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I'm done in the ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? That hook won't score. Changes from both men in this round. He missed with that jab. Just missing with the uppercut. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're feeling it now, baby. Yeah, keep chasing me. Keep chasing me. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? And we've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Will power. I mean, we've already fought 10 rounds. And stamina is not an issue. I feel like we can start out. Despite what the going judges for some more power made, punches. There are no losers in this one. Haven't really done too much of them. Could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? All right, this is it. I feel like it's it's about to be over. Right here. Got him with a left jab. Jab score. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable. Drag them. Get them complaining to the referee. Because oh. once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into a rhythm, the fight is over. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, we almost had him there. Good one. Come on. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? How do you know one of these five guys just won't go sleep? Jab. They're that powerful. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. If there's anyone oh no, that can get dazed. out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali. We're dazed. This fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. All right, we're going all out, baby. We are depleting everything we saved up. This guy's about to get knocked out. He keeps going for my body. We need to block the body. He's barely going for my head, I feel like. Hey, those punches add up. Punch scores. Punch. 
how nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously Oh, he's cut. Sometimes he's cut. you get in there with someone that's so powerful. He's bleeding. You just be smart than him. You've got to be like a little favorite and pickpocket him. I feel like he's about to be done. Shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. That punch landed. That one lands. Jab to the body, trying to wear him down. All right, last 30 seconds. 30 seconds. You hear people talk about a boxer's what we came to the show for. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Everything we got. Everything we got. Oh, my gosh. The fight is over. No surprise as we get a unanimous decision there. And we take the you know dub, baby. Smart, smart that is. Total change of styles to make sure they got it. We don't even look like we got touched. In the fight, there was no argument, round war. no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious. We outbox them. We outclass them. I do want to thank you guys for tuning back in. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to look for more content like this, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'm going to have another undisputed video right here at the end of this one. Click on it, check it out. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.